This is BBC One. Now a news report from John Humphreys. Britain has suffered its first major losses in the Falklands conflict. The Ministry of Defence announced tonight that the destroyer Sheffield came under an Argentine missile attack. It later sank. All the crew who got out of the ship have been picked up, but the Ministry spokesman says there were casualties. He didn't say how many. HMS Sheffield, one of the most modern warships in the Royal Navy, normally has a crew of nearly 300 men. As well as her loss, a sea harrier was shot down and its pilot killed. Here's how the Defence Ministry spokesman made the announcement about the Sheffield. In the course of its duties, within the total exclusion zone around the Falkland Islands, HMS Sheffield, a Type 42 destroyer, was attacked and hit late this afternoon by an Argentine missile. The ship caught fire, which spread out of control. When there was no longer any hope of saving the ship, the ship's company abandoned ship. All who abandoned her were picked up. It is feared that there have been a number of casualties, but we have no details of them yet. Next of kin will be informed first as soon as details are received. HMS Sheffield here off Gibraltar was launched 11 years ago by the Queen and cost over £23 million. She went into service seven years ago and was reckoned to be one of the most modern warships in the Royal Navy with her powerful engines and sea dart missiles. It's thought the missile which sank her was of French design. For the latest political developments now, over to Westminster and Rodney Foster. The Prime Minister, who was informed of the loss of HMS Sheffield at about 6 o'clock this evening, is said to be deeply concerned at this tragedy. Labour's leader, Michael Foote, has described what happened as grave and tragic. He was prepared to wait for a full government statement tomorrow, but some Labour MPs weren't, and a few moments ago, several demanded an immediate government statement on what one has described as this massive folly taking place. The leader of the Commons, John Biffin, eventually said he would pass their views on to the Defence Secretary, John Knott. And I understand there could well be a holding statement within the next few minutes. But it's being stressed that despite the loss of the Sheffield, the government's resolve is unimpaired. The Falklands remain occupied, ministers stress, and the task force continues with its duties as planned. The government's taking up the position that up to now it's had quite a remarkable run of success which could not last. But the demands are now growing among Labour MPs for the government to cease hostilities. And the Ministry of Defence tonight issued the following telephone numbers for relatives to call in for news of casualties. They are in London, 218-3253 or 4, and that's 01 if you're calling from outside London. Rosyth, 0383-412-191. Fast Lane, 0436-71125. Plymouth, 0752-666666. Portland, 0305-821-547. Portsmouth, 0705-827-671. Chatham 0634 812771. Those numbers are for relatives only, and I'll just go through them again. Rosyth 412191, Fast Lane 71125, Plymouth 666666, Portland 821547, Portsmouth 827671, Chatham 812771, and those numbers are for relatives only. Newsnight is on the air now with more news on the conflict and we'll be back with another report on BBC One at about 11.30. Tomorrow's Wednesday film is The Little Ark. Set against the Dutch floods of 1953, it tells the story of two orphans whose peaceful lives are shattered one stormy night. Sorry to intrude. But the burgomaster wants the alarm ring. We'll go. We'll go, Father. It's raining. It's not rain. It's spray from the sea. The harbour master just registered the highest known level of the outside water. The sea is rising. He wants every able-bodied man on the dikes to put down sandbags. Will our cellars be flooded? 
high tide is not until midnight. In the weeks are coming over a bit already. Danger and tragedy face two young Dutch children when their home and village are swept away. The Little Ark, tomorrow at 7.20. Holy apostles! Adenda, come quick! The village is gone! This is BBC One. And now, the first in a new late-night series, hosted by Terry Wogan. So there you are. Actually, very good to stay up so late. Well, now, on the programme, we've got Paulie Yates, Nigel Rees, Bruce Forsyth, a searing film probe, and me. 